you guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we're gonna to be talking about summertime jig fishing. Gonna give you guys some quick tips, maybe some things you don't know that you can try this summer when you're out on the water and you wanna get that better bite. A jig fishing, we all know, is a great way to catch big, big fish, regardless of time of year. But summertime in particular, you can really upsize your fish if you go to that jig. Normally in the summertime, if I want to catch numbers, we're throwing the worm, a shaky head or even a drop shot, something like that to get those numbers in the boat. But when it's time to really upsize your catch, you go to the jig. Now, a couple of tips that you guys might not know right off the bat. This jig, perfectly color matched. That jig color, that's a dirty jigs pitching jig. That color's called Go To. Matched perfectly with a sweet beaver in green pumpkin red flake. And that's a great profile. That go-to color, well, it is literally my go-to color. Uh, it's a color I throw all the time because it's very natural and basically blends with everything. So that jig, just really clean profile, looks good in the water, catches fish really well. But something that you wanna try this summer, mix and match your colors. Don't worry about the jig. Keep your jig simple. You only need to own a handful of colors. I mean, here's my summertime pitching jig box. Now, I don't know how well you guys can see in there, but there's basically a whole bunch of go-to, a little bit of green pumpkin craw, which is almost the exact same thing. And then a little bit of, of some color options that have red in them. And that red, that's because here on Clear Lake, where we live, our crawdads turn up really, really red. Oh, you know what? I lied. I do have one more. That's super matte brown. That's the color I designed years and years ago with Kurt from Dirty Jigs. It's basically a brown cinnamon purple, little bit of green pumpkin. But essentially, there's three colors in that box. That's it for the whole summer. Uh, what I do is as my water conditions are changing, then I change my trailer color. Everybody gets hung up on making those colors match. You know, you got a green pumpkin jig, you need a green pumpkin trailer. No, you don't. You got a green pumpkin jig and your craws are red, you put a bright red trailer on there. You got a green pumpkin jig and you've got horrible water clarity, you throw black blue on there. Or in this case, what is this color called? Tramp stamp. This is one of my favorite colors that I throw. Green pumpkin, green pumpkin black flake on one side, black with blue flake on the other side. I get that dark profile of that black blue, that big fish catching power of the black blue. We don't know why black blue works, it just does. It works everywhere, no matter what your crawdads look like. You get that, that black blue color, but it's not overwhelming. It's not too bold because on the back side you've got that green pumpkin. That's a really good option. What I'm saying, guys, is don't get hung up on color. If you have three, four different color trailers, you can pair them to the same color jig and fish all sorts of different water conditions. Second tip for summer fishing is gonna be fishing that pitching head or that arky style head. A lot of guys in the summertime go to a football. And I don't blame them, I do too from time to time. But I'll tell you what, once I really got into fishing that pitching style head, I got away from the football for a lot of my summer applications. That pitching, it's got a really stout hook, but it's not overbearing. It's not a giant hook like the no jack jig. So I can get away with throwing it on anywhere in like that 12 to 17 pound range line. And of course you can go up. I've got it tied on 20 today. Uh, but really nice stout hook, that rounded head. I don't know that it's the best for very many things, but it works for everything. I can throw it in rock. That rounded head will come through the rock. I can throw it in the tulies. It's got enough of a curved face that I can pull it through my tulies and my bulrushes. I can throw it in the grass. It won't go through grass as well as a flipping jig, a pointed head jig but it goes through just fine. So I've got one jig head style that I can fish through everything. And it does excel in wood. It does such a good job in wood. Only thing I'm gonna add to that, tip number three, is how you're fishing that jig this summer. 
A lot of guys will draw, will drag that jig. A lot of guys will shake them. I do both. Uh, depending on what my fish are doing, don't be afraid to mix up how you're working that jig. I'm throwing it on a fairly stout rod. I'm throwing it on an 895, excuse me, 895 seed JWR. Uh, what that is, that's a five power rod. So it's a stout rod, uh, but I've got enough hook to back up that rod. I throw it on braid, so I've got a ton of power. And like I said, today I've got a 20 pound leader on there because my water's really dingy. We've got a, a pretty serious algae bloom, kind of a pea soup look to the water. Uh, so I'm going ahead and throwing that on a little bit heavier line. But how I work this, with that stiffer tipped rod, I can slow fish it, I can just drag that bait, that's no problem. And if that's the bite the, want, the, the fish want, they'll just pick that thing up. You'll just be dragging along, it'll start getting heavy or they'll thump it. Uh, but my number one way that I like to fish it is a little two pop. I'll be working that bait, I'll give it a little pop pop, reel up my slack, pop pop. The reason why is if you've ever watched a crawdad when it spooks, if it's on the bottom and it spooks, they kind of jump up off the bottom and then take off. They kick up and then kick away. So that's what I mimic, pop it up and then pop it. Pop, 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 pop. And that's how I fish it along the bottom and the bites are much more aggressive. If I'm dragging the jig and it's just getting ticked, if I go to pop in that thing, mm, they eat that jig. Then you get them hooked solid, you get them in the roof of the mouth. If you're doing that and they're pounding it and you're not getting a good hookup, that's when you change that trailer color to try and get a better commitment out of them. The last way that you can work this thing is to truly stroke that jig, pop that jig hard. Go to a little heavier head, half ounce is my most universal weight in the summer. Um, I throw three eighths through three quarters in the summertime, but half ounce is my main. But if I'm gonna stroke the jig, I go to the three quarter immediately. A little heavier head, and then when I go to work it, I let that bait hit, hit the bottom, reel up my slack and I just snap it up, or a double snap, pop, pop, and you just let it fall. And you kind of follow your slack down. As soon as it hits bottom, pop, pop, let it fall back down. Very aggressive way of fishing would almost mirror how the guys are throwing the hair jigs back on the Tennessee River. Uh, but just very aggressive, pop, pop, let it fall, pop, pop. When they eat that, I mean, it's a crime scene down there. They massacre that jig. They absolutely brutalize it. Those are just some quick tips for you guys. Things that will make a big difference for you as you're throwing the jig this summer. Don't be afraid to throw it shallow throw it deep. The jig is one of the most universal baits that you can fish with. I talk to guys all the time that just cannot catch a jig fish. It's just a confidence game. It's just in your head. Jigs are not hard to get bit on. It's just like worm fishing or anything else. It just takes a little bit of time to get the feel. But that's three different ways that you can fish it. Just focus on one head this summer, maybe one or two colors. Keep it really, really simple. You can throw it right up on the bank, you can throw it in rock, you can flip cover with it. You are gonna get bites and when you get them, they're gonna be really, really good quality fish. Hope that helps you guys. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Like always, links to all this gear will be down in the video description so you don't have to go looking for it. We appreciate your support and we'll talk to you soon.